One. Two. Three. Restart. Reload. Resume. Trying to get as much crunch in there as possible before it's soggy. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> Reload. Resume. Hey. I don't know if that's gonna be audible. What, the crunch? No, my me swallowing. I put my neck to the thing and swallowed my soda. Oh, I'll make sure I'll bump it there then. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I wonder if it is audible. Probably. Remember when the, I freaking... I, lef I, left, I, your, I left your... I left our jaw cracking in the episode. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. I, I, I left it in. I had to... Hi, how? Hello. <laughs> that how fucking you? burp that I made like a month ago where you heard it coming up my stomach and into my throat. I, I left Dude, I heard the whole process, yeah. <laughs> I left it in there. Oh, you can hear it. Ah! That's really gross. Um. So, have you watched either the, the big hitters for Netflix? The, like, the new stuff? Did you watch Bird Box or Bandersnatch? I have not. They're both pretty good. Bandersnatch was fucking amazing. Do you like Choose Your Own Adventure stuff? Ah, uh, kind of. Okay, then, yeah, then you'll like it. Cause you literally like y you'll have to play it um, for you. You'll probably have to play it from your Xbox. Um, but you literally like you know the premise of it, right? No. Oh, you you okay? So, I know I know nothing about. Them. So okay, so Black Mirror Banderbox, uh, I mean Bandersnatch, um, <laughs> is um it's a choose your own adventure episode of Black Mirror. So you literally the episode starts you're going through it and then like you'll be presented with a choice like the first choice you get presented with not a spoiler by any means is what cereal does he have does he have the frosted flakes or does he have like some like crunchy puff bullshit crunchy and, like, puff bullshit and like you have both options on the bottom of the screen and you choose one and then the episode continues that way but there's no lag time or like anything in between like you making a decision and then it doing it mm -hmm. so you just legit like it's like seamless like, it's just, you make the decision, and then Fuck. his dad hands him the Frosties. Um, so, yeah, so you basically make the decisions for this kid about, like, what's going to happen throughout, throughout the episode. And there's, like, they say there's, like, five, like, basic endings that you can get. I mean, there's, apparently there's others you can get as well, but, um, but, yeah, it, it's really fun. Uh... And then after a little while, like, like, you start to feel awkward. Why? Because you're kind of, like, controlling a, another person's life. You know what I mean? I think... What the fuck do you think I'm doing right now? But it's... Yeah, listen, you have to watch it to understand exactly what I'm saying. Um, if anybody else has watched it, I'm sure they understand exactly what I'm trying to say. Um, without, like, giving anything away. But it just starts to feel really, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was really good, and, uh... Bird Box, pretty decent. Uh, it's it's a horror. Like, remember the movie? Um, what was that one with the uh, John? Go, 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 go. Uh, the guy from The Office, where he had the movie and they all had to be quiet the entire time. Was it like don't speak or something like that? Or I can't remember. But it's it's in the same premise as that, where it's like there's a there's the thing out there. If you look at it, you're gonna fucking die. Um, it's like. I don't want to really say it's a horror. It's I'd say it's more of a thriller because there's, you don't really like see anything or anything like that. It's more of just like a on, you know, here. like a heart racer kind of thing. Yeah, There's like no jump scares and bullshit like that. <laughs> um, so you you would be fine watching it. Um, Keep coming. Yeah. yeah, you just get a little stressed here and there. Um, it's got Sandra Bullock. She's the main character, which is cool. A lot of people watching it don't know who Sandra Bullock is, which is really depressing. Because uh, it makes me feel old. I mean, like, I'm fucking 24, and I know who Sandra Bullock is, and these people are like, I don't know who this is. And I'm like, how do you not know who fucking Sandra Bullock is? Oh, no, the damn access door. <laughs> Still oh, loving these damn jokes. So good. <laughs> so damn good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, but it was, it was pretty good. It's, like I said, they're both on Netflix. Um, Bird Box, you can watch on whatever, but you'll definitely have to watch Bandersnatch on, like, your, your Xbox or something like that, because you have to be able to make the decisions. Mm -hmm. Uh, which you would just use your controller for, basically. Like, left, right, and then hit A. Uh, but yeah. Both, both really good. Um, uh, I'd say it's worth your time. Um, you should do it with Monica. 
like Friday or something, you guys should do both of those. Uh, these are both really fun. Cause I did, I watched Bird Box by myself, but I did Bandersnatch with my dad. Um, and like that's the thing too is when you make the decisions, it's timed. Like you can't like dwell on it too long. You have to make a decision right then and there. Pretty much, it's like I don't know. You got maybe five seconds. I don't know the exact timer, but it's probably about maybe ten. 10 seconds or so but like it'll it shows a bar that goes like like yeah. shrinks in towards the middle to say like hey you're running out of time um but yeah it's it's really interesting it's got the um do, do you ever see where the millers no oh, okay well never mind <laughs> it's got the the kid from the kid from where the millers is in it he plays one of the secondary characters it's not the main character by any means but uh, it was good though. I mean, it was it was like it was getting a lot of flack from people just because like so many people were talking about it that like people were like nah, you know, getting all salty just because like oh people like this. Well, I don't like it then. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like overall, uh, Banner Snatch was good, uh, and uh, so was Bird Box. I'm sorry, Bird Box was what was getting the flack, not Banner Snatch. That was my bad. Um, but you fucking catapulting shit. Yeah, it's a. Siege beast from. <laughs> oh, charge. Okay. This is a little bit different than how it worked in the other games. You have to account for the wind, so I think. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, te I'm aim, testing it. Yeah, yeah, I can aim it to the right. Oh, okay. I'm, just, I'm testing it. Don't get testy with me. <laughs> it's just. Light. Oh, okay. Alright. Because uh, these things were actually. Locust. Oh, I think I took someone out with that. I don't know, you hit the pole, so you gotta get it. How do you get it beyond the pole? Because you're not getting enough distance. Yeah, see, you're, it's like at your max. Because you charging that up is distance, right? Oh! Uh, oh, come on! Aim it a little bit up. There it is, okay. But yeah, th this thing used to be a living creature. It was part of the locust. And oh, so we just kind of hotwired it? <laughs> uh, yeah, we just basically still using the catapult that's attached to it. Gross. Because these things used to be, like, giant molten exploding rocks. Oh, I think I remember seeing them in the beginning. Like, being launched at us and shit. Yeah. I could be wrong, though. Heads up, more drones. Although I would like to see... My like, penis? whatever... Yes. Alright. Oh! Uh, Alright! He's gone. Bye. <laughs> but uh, whatever these mutated versions are of the locust, I'd like to see a fucking brumac, which is just a basically thing. Picture a T Rex only without tiny arms, and he has machine guns attached to both his hands and a massive one on his back. <laughs> wow, that's silly. So awesome. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. <laughs> that's what a brumac the is. Into the swarm. Really? And you actually got to ride one in the second game. Ah, oh, that's fun. I got to be a T-Rex in Odyssey. <laughs> Cause that's the whole point of Odyssey, is you, you throw your hat at shit, and like, you can possess it. So like, you throw your hat at a Chain Chomp, and you can possess the Chain Chomp. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, that's like the main way to get like, through obstacles, or uh, is by possessing or, like, puzzles other things. and shit, yeah. Is by throwing your head at So, shit like, and, you're up against a wall and you can't do anything about it, but there happens to be a chain chop nearby that could easily rip through it. Yeah, exactly. You pull the chain chop in the opposite direction, and then it let go, it, it like, lets go, and it just and bashes the wall. With it. So, it's pretty cool. Or, like, Goombas, you, t you possess one, and then you can jump on top of other Goombas and become, like, a Goomba tower <laughs> to reach higher things. That's cool. Yeah. It's fun. It's... it's it's really, it's not a difficult game, I mean, by any means. It controls pretty decently. Um, as far as, like, the type of game it is, like, I think you have to shoot the lower. There you go. Um, yeah, like, it controls really well. I mean, like, it's, like, as far as, like, the type of Mario game it go, it is, it controls the best. Like, considering that I've now played all the other... One. Now that I've played all the fucking other open world, oh, you know, uh, Mario, open so, world, yeah, so Mario 64, 64 Sunshine, Sunshine and right Galaxy. Now you're Galaxy. I mean, unless Galaxy yeah. Two is blows me away, but probably not. Um, but it could. I mean, that was it's a newer one, so it could. 
but uh how old is uh number two galaxy two i'm not sure because i know the one we're playing the first one is 2007 which is for the gamecube right or is it for the way no it's, it's for way the Wii. it's for the way yeah i think two is also for the way yeah two is also for the god Wii, damn so 12 that 12 years ago holy shit yeah, Galaxy Galaxy 2 is also for the Wii. I just don't know what the the time difference was between them. Another um, Lancer. Let me see. Uh, that Mario. was actually a good grenade placement. All right, bye, guy. <laughs> Mario Galaxy. Okay, so Galaxy 2 came out in 2010. Fuck you. Uh, so Galaxy 2 came out in 2010, and... Original came out in 2007, so three years apart. So they probably like finished Galaxy and started working on two, like immediately. So odds are it's not gonna play that differently or have much of a difference control-wise. But like I, said, I mean, Odyssey controls really nicely. Um, it's great that there's no, you know, there's no like touch controls Ow. or motion controls like it just you just play it and it's great <laughs> like there's like an option to use like tilt stuff with some of the switch games i mean like even i got nowhere else to be it's fine i'll wait yeah, there you lightning go. bolt striking all right anything. thanks princess <laughs> um but yeah i mean like you know even like zelda like for instance like there were there was the option to use like motion controls in a couple of places where you had to use it but, for the most part, they were almost irrelevant. Oh, hidden item. Which was great. That ironic. It sucks, but Have you ever found one of those before? Could be the uh, a few when I played the first time. But not, like, our that. playthrough. Not our okay. playthrough. I was like, because I don't remember this. I didn't even know that was a thing, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a bunch of hidden items. Huh, neat. In the first few games, you found cog tags. Yeah. Yeah, well, can you tell what that is? Dog <laughs> tags for people of cog. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I'm smart. Yeah, the first game had, like, 20 or 30 Ammo above. over here! Yeah, well, I'm full. <laughs> Do we get to go back out there? Where are we going, anyway? Nope, Spire. okay. Man, I really base? want a Left 4 Dead 3. No. <laughs> I uh, want it so sorry. bad. Like, that would just, like, make hey, my yeah. year. Check this out. If they uh, announced uh, Left 4 Dead 3. That game's just gonna piss me off. Just what? like the others. What? The fact that it doesn't exist? No, the fact that... Just Left 4 Dead. We played the first two, remember? It's on the channel! Yeah, I love those games. They're fun. Yeah, they're fun until you get dumb AIs. Well, yeah, but I mean... I, uh, you get dumb AIs! You would assume... Especially ones that don't get out of your way! You would assume <laughs> by 2019, if they were to release it, it would control a bit better and have better AIs. You would think. Someone really didn't Hopefully. want anything getting through here. Um... Okay. So, uh... Can you, like, grenade it or something? Fucking forward doesn't work. No, it's gonna fucking make us go all the way around or some shit. Um... Hmm... Hey, nah, you're fine. Those transformers give uh, you a there we go. Oh, Check okay. The control panel. See if you can vent the cores. But, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. It would be cool to have. Shots on that oh, I the game I'm really looking forward to right now is, um, Outer Worlds. I don't know if we talked about it yet, but it's the one that's made by the people who made... You know, you said a few shots! I just unloaded my clip into it! That was a rough estimate, Devin, oh, Jesus Christ, what do you want? <laughs> okay, what do you want to tell you? It'll take 72 shots, shots exactly. No. Like, what do you want? <laughs> There's like 60 bullets in a clip. That's more than a few. Yeah, well. Um... But, uh, did, did, have we talked about Outer Worlds yet? The game that's made by the same people who made, like, the first Fallout in New Vegas? Did we talk about what? Yeah, Outer Worlds. No. It's basically... It's basically, like, Fallout and... It's gonna be, like, a... Basically, like, a Fallout, uh... Wow, shit, what's that? What's that game? Uh, Borderlands, that's what it is. I had to look at my bookcase, because I couldn't remember the name. Uh... <laughs> It's it's basically like Fallout and Borderlands had a space baby. Oh, another hidden item, which is yeah, it had a space baby, which is like right up my alley. Cause so it's gonna play it's gonna play like Fallout, but it's in space, which is great. And it's like the premise, I guess, is basically the entire world is just advertisements, like <laughs> like even like people are like bought for advertisements. So like the in the 
in like one of the like gameplay trailers like a guy you're talking to ends his final like sentence to you by like basically like not necessarily reading an ad but reciting an ad mm-hmm like, you know, like, basically, he's like, yeah, whatever, man. I don't know if I can really help you. Oh, and uh, make sure to, to drink Ovaltine. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know how, like, they do ad reads for, like, you know, podcasts and shit like that? Yeah. It was like he, like, a had to end his conversation with you with an ad read. Uh, it was just fucking bizarre. But I'm really looking forward to it. It looks so good. It looks pretty as all balls, too. Because it actually, oh, uh... he still doesn't have his hand. It's him. What? It's him. Who? The one who took my mom. <laughs> uh. She is where she belongs. But yeah, it plays. It it's so pretty. They like in the gameplay like preview. They even show. Since you, when uh, can they speak English? This one's special. Uh. Maybe it's because they took her mom. She's the she's the the gap. Tell me, please, broom. Oh my God! Yes, it's a broomac! <laughs> I fucking called it. Jesus Christ, that's just obscene. Yeah, just get rid of the fucking crystals on its face, and that's... I love him. Oh my god, he's a, he's ridiculous. I love him. That is... They, I, I, seriously, are we still playing Gears? Did you swap this out for Doom? I, this, this, even... Oh, yeah, how, how creative. It's called a Swarm Mac now. <laughs> he, he looks like he belongs in Doom. Well, you take out the guns first, basically. Yeah, you shoot off its gauntlets, although that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Doesn't seem like it's taking any damage. Get the fuck away! Get the fuck away from me! Wait! Transformers! Oh! Robots in disguise. Actually, it might be because of the crystals why it's not doing anything. Yeah, they're protecting him. Yeah, you gotta they, the, they just said, said you gotta blow the transformers. Yeah, they said in the beginning of the game the crystal they couldn't destroy the crystals that were growing off of them. And they couldn't burn the bodies because the crystals were growing off of them. We are the crystal gems. Alright, so there's a bunch of shit I gotta do I have to destroy it or activate day. them? Nope, it looks like I have to you think we can't I'll we'll snag that. Always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in. Garnet, I'm the first. Oh, Steve. I love Steve. No, god damn it. Cork down there. Fuck you. Get out of my way. <laughs> Kinda uh, wish this boss fight was more focused on fighting the boss. But. What is? No, we're avoiding the boss while blowing up Transformers. Yeah, but you're blowing up the Transformers to hurt the boss. I. Directly fighting the boss. <laughs> You can't! He's too crystallized! Oh! What's exposed? They said something was exposed. Destroy the trend. It just still says, yeah, just destroy more of the things. Alright, they said something was- Oh, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, since the volume's all the way down, it's hard to- Frag out! Uh... That one... Nope, of course not. Okay, well, but I have this one. When did I see Aquaman? Was that before or after we last recorded? Aquaman was good. <laughs> I don't remember. Sir, can you I, stop I shooting? I don't right, think we... I saw it after... Now we shoot it. I saw it the day after New Year's? No. <laughs> yes? No. The day after New Year's? That would have been... No, after. I saw it the day after Christmas. Then it was before we recorded last. Okay, so then I probably talked about it. Either way, it was good. In case, in case I didn't talk about it. It was good. <laughs> problem solved. It was good. Problem yeah. solved. <laughs> There's my there's my in-depth review. Is goo. Destroy the transformers. Aim for the bliss. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. He's got another one in his legs. Oh poor boy. Where's the worst place you ever got a blister? I've only ever gotten blisters on the bottom of my feet. You never got them on your hands? That's unsurprising. You got little baby hands. Soft ass little bitches. <laughs> Devin's got the softest hand. Seriously, if you ever get to meet Devin, just shake his hand. It, it's like it's like it's like you're shaking a pillow. It's crazy. Oh, you shot him in the cock. Yes, I did. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I've gotten. I I used to get like blushes on my hands all the time from like doing like yard work and shit like that. Ow! Oh, right. Ooh, you are <laughs> dangerously close. <laughs> There's another boy coming up on yeah, you. Yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, blisters suck. I gotta, um, if I don't buy it before, before this, if any of you out there who, who are actually watching this, if you happen to own a Switch, didn't I, I just, if you own a Switch and you, uh, have, like, really nice grips either for the entire system or just the Joy-Cons that have, like, the ergonomic, like, curvature on them, like a regular controller's supposed to have, okay, if you have one of those cool. and you really like it, tell me what kind you have in the comments, because goddamn. Holding the switch for an extended period really hurts. <laughs> Cause it's it's just flat. You know what I mean? But they yeah. make they make cases and like grips specifically just for the Joy Cons and ones that also go over the whole thing that give it like some bumps in the back like a like a you know Xbox controller has. So it feels better to hold. But there's just so many of them, and so many of them have awful reviews, as well as great reviews, so I don't know what to get. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Especially find one that has no awful reviews. I can't. That's the problem. Because <laughs> uh, the biggest thing too is like a lot of them say like, "Oh, this one is made specifically to be dockable," which means you can leave the case on and still put it in the, like in the dock. Yeah. And a lot of them say that they are that, but then there's comments. Half the comments say that, "Oh, that's not true. It's not dockable. It, it doesn't fit my dock." And then the other comments say, "Yeah, it's fine." So it's like, I don't know. Like I, I do do do. do, do. That's why I'm like, I'm tempted to not even get one of the full ones and just get just for Joy Cons. But even that, I want to get really good ones. Like I want to get like the best possible. Ones. You need, you need to fuck off! Holy shit! But like the the hard part about it is that you can't even really get them from like anywhere good. Like Target had a couple. They had like two choices. Uh, GameStop I think has like two choices. Like there's like. <laughs> Like you don't no really, good choices. There's not you don't really get options, you know what I mean? It's like it's either this or nothing. You know what I mean? Which sucks. Amazon and like other websites have a bunch of them, but once you start dealing with Amazon and shit, that's when you start getting really crappy like products. Cause one of the big things I was noticing too is I guess the silicone ones a lot of times are slightly too big, so they like shift too much, which is not what I want. So I'm thinking I wanna go with hard plastic ones. But I want to get good ones that aren't gonna, like, hurt my hands. What's going- Oh, great. I don't know what that just did. Devin, my problems are way more important than what you're going through right now. <laughs> I, I have uncomfortable hands holding my Switch. That's way more important than whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> oh, oh, my foot's asleep. I can't tell if these guys just keep respawning, sir. I'm unsure. It seems like there's too much shit going on. I can't tell. I think they're gonna just keep coming. I think you just have to ignore it and start shooting some ballistas. Just shoot them right in the ass. There you go. Yeah, let me. I'll help you. I'll help you get those zits. Here, pop that white head right there for you. You missed. That's fine. There's uh, one on his chin sack. Stop firing at me! Stop blowing holes in my ship! <laughs> See? Yep, there is a guy right here. Okay. I don't remember the exact number, but it was like, they're, by taking Johnny Depp out of the Pirates movies, they're gonna save like, billions of dollars. Because of how expensive he is. To have in them. <laughs> I think they need to stop with Pirate movies. Uh, I agree. I think they've, I think they've hit everything they need, and they should just stop now. Um, Honestly, they but they're not. They should have stopped at the uh, dead man's chest. Dead man's chest. That was the third one, right? I believe so. They should have stopped there. Or is, no, dead man's chest is the first one, isn't it? We're talking about yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. No, it's um, Curse of the Black Pearl. Yes, but I'm I'm talking about the the first one in terms of with Davy Jones. Yeah, yeah. Because there was two. God damn it! Go away! The problem is, is whenever I hear Dead chest, I always think of the first movie with the chest of gold. You know what I mean? That's. I think that's why I make that mistake. In my head. In my head. Zumber, zumber, zumber. Fucking blister on your ass. There you go. Jesus oh, you did Christ. it. Good job. After this cutscene, we can call it an episode. Boom. Broadcast this. Defeated the speaker in his Swarmac mount. Good job, Devin. You did the thing. That's right. Crawl away. 
Or aim for that boom shot. You swarm are all connected, right? In your hives. In your hives! Broadcast this. We're getting my mother back. Then we're burning your goddamn hive to the fucking ground! That's what you think. They tried burning them. Yeah, like, it you didn't already- work. You, Yeah, you already know you can't do that. <laughs> Alright, last chapter. Woo. Or last act, sorry. Last act. It's four chapters in this act. Oh, thank god, there's no- Ah! No! Ah! This bitch. You know, Jin, as much as I enjoy our chats, we're a little busy. You said before I didn't know what was going on, so why don't you educate me? <laughs> educate we this. I figured out that four people aren't taking on the entire COG army just for the hell of it. Tucker, long enough. Here's what I propose. We all go back to New Ifira and you tell me exactly what's out here. You've seen them, haven't you? This isn't an intelligence summit, Lieutenant. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. What's obvious is that <laughs> He's saying she's dumb. United is the only chance we have against whatever's out here. <laughs> you actually believe the bullshit that comes out of your mouth, don't you? Must be comforting, since no one else does. Lieutenant? I'm not your fucking lieutenant! JD, what's happening? Oh good, they're here. Bad doggies. Well, all right. So we'll deal with the puppers next time. I don't know if that was Jin doing that to him, or if that was whatever the fuck those doggies were controlling the robot after it stabbed it. I yeah, I was trying to figure that out too. I like. I wasn't sure either. Like it finally seemed like she was coming to her senses a little bit, still being a bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I still don't like her. I answers. I would I would not care if she died, not at all. Well, she never puts herself actually out there, so she'll probably live forever because she always just sends robots. I still have coffee. Wow, what? That is just all settled at the bottom. What the hell is that? Smoking sugar. No, oh, gross. All right, next time. Bye. <laughs>